good morning all of all the students uh, welcome back to our bmc education department online lectures so myself gayatri bhut marwa from goregaon east mpa secondary school uh, so yesterday we had started with the question paper pattern so we are revising the question paper pattern so in the last lecture or yesterday's lecture we had completed with question number 1 that how we will complete question number 1 which carries three marks and in this question you have to solve the uh, optional uh, question or fill in the blanks okay with the options we have to correct uh, you have to write the correct option in the blanks and you have to complete the uh, question Uh, you have to write the correct see students in this part in question number uh, 1b part now okay now in the second part of b part that is identify the wrong pair and rewrite the correct one okay in this session you have to write first of all you have to choose the correct uh, the wrong pair and then you have to rewrite it with the correct one okay some of the students what they had done that they identify the wrong pair only they don't rewrite the correct one so don't do that in this uh, in this question you have to uh, write the wrong pair first and then you have to write the correct one and from uh, for each question it carries one mark means you have to choose the wrong pair it carries half mark and in the uh, and half marks for the correct one in that sense you get the one marks for one question okay now with the second one now uh, give graphical uh, description of the following any two so in this question you have to uh, fill all the options in the given question okay now with the b part question number 2 b part you have to write the short notes and any the question is write the short notes any two Okay, students. Now, in this given question, so you have to write short notes. Not uh, so any two. It means there are two. Uh, there will be three questions, and you have to attend any two. Okay, each question uh, carries two marks. So you have to write at least four points. for two marks okay with the question number 3 explain the following with reasons any two now here also there will be three or four questions and you have to attain any two again you have to put the reasons okay at least you have to write if possible if uh, write four points means half mark um, half marks for each point so it will carry for two marks after that in the fourth question one passage will be there and you have to solve all the given questions okay with the for the next one okay so next one now see we will start with the question number 5 that answer the following question in details and you have to attain any two okay now it carries six marks it means what you have to 
attain any two means each question carries two marks uh, uh, three marks because there are the total of the uh, sum of the uh, total answer are the six it means you have to solve any two and each question carries three marks okay now there are four questions and you have to solve any two now after fifth question the political part uh, science part starts with question number 6 and this also the first question is you have to uh, choose the correct option and rewrite the sentence now you have to choose the correct option and you have to rewrite it some of the students what will they will do they will write only the correct option they are not going to write the uh, whole sentence so the what you have to do you have to choose the correct option and write and then rewrite the whole sentence okay the same here you have to uh, write the both the questions for uh, two marks after that seventh question explains with reason whether the following statements are true and false so you have to write the uh, answer that it is true or false again you have to write any two total marks are four and there are three given questions so you have to write any two question now half marks for your true or false and half marks for the given reason okay so what you have to do means if the question carries two marks then one marks for true or false and one marks for the reason so if the question is true and false and give the reason that what you have to do you have to write the statement is true or false and after that you have to give the reason if you write only true or false you can uh, you will get only half marks it means only one marks getting it with the question number 8 explain the following concept any one so again you have the only uh, two questions are there and you have to solve any one again it is for two marks it means you have to write at least four points okay after that in b part do as direct a graphical representation is there and you have to uh, do any one means two questions are there and you have to solve any one in the ninth question answer of the following question in brief in brief only one you have to attain and it carries two marks two questions are given and you have to solve any one again it is for two marks means at least you have to write four points for each question getting it now these are the rest of the paper paper let us start with some example with question number 5 answer in detail the following question which carries six marks now you have to solve any two and each question carries three marks now we will do some example now example question is what are the efforts made by the government to promote agriculture now this is the question now what are the efforts made by government to promote agriculture now this is the question now how we will you will attend it now answer in order to promote and encourage agriculture the following steps are taken by the government now first one loan are provided through cooperative banks number 2 encouragement is given to cooperative industries processing fruits and vegetables number 3 study tour agriculture outdoor visit and gatherings of farmers are organized number 4 improved tools good quality seeds and fertilizers are supplied question uh, point number 5 soil testing laboratories give guidance regarding the crops and point number 6 that is financially help is provided to build warehouse to store food grains and farm products now see students there are six points now you have to write any four points okay at least four points you have to write for six marks okay next one is write about the textile industry in india now this the answer is the first textile mill was established by kavazi dawar dawar in 11th uh, 11th july 1951 thereafter a num large number of textile mills came up in mumbai and other parts of india 
the textile industries includes the power looms and hand loom industry which are labor intensive the textile committee was established as per the textile committee act 1963 this committee sets of quality standards for sale in the domestic market as well as for exports the textile industry accounts for 14% of the total industrial production in india okay the next question which carries three marks write a note on human rights protection act now human rights protection act was enacted by parliament in 1993 to prevent injustice to men and women it set up the national human rights commission on the same line in the same state and sorry states the state human rights commission were established this law is meant to migrate injustice relate to women in the form of collective oppression divorce women exploitation of women at the workplace okay the next question write about integrated guided missile integrated guided missile development program now we have to write about the integrated guided missile now integrated integrated guided missile development program that is igmdp was con, uh, convened by the by and carried out under the leadership of dr apj abdul kalam defense research and development organization that is drdo undertook the task of building the missile the missiles with v1 surface to surface ballistic missile were given to the army prithvi 2 was given to the air force and prithvi 3 was given to the air navy prithvi had the capacity to carry nuclear weapons of 5 to 500 to 1000 kg means 500 to 1000 kg of nuclear weapon prithvi could travel a distance of 150 to 300 km due to the nuclear ballistic missile agni 1 military missile has a range of 700 km later agni 2 had agni and agni 2 and agni 3 were also produced akash a land to air missile was developed in 1990 it has capacity to carry 720 kg explosive at supersonic speed at the range of 30 km per hour the missile nag was made in order to destroy the enemy tanks and it is of the fire and forget type it is a guided missile thus india has become military secure due to the production of the missile so this is a long question next one write about india's atomic energy program now the answer is prime minister pandit jawaharlal nehru was the pioneer of the india's atomic energy program pioneer means mean the base pillar he constituted the atomic energy commission on 10th august 1948 with dr homi baba as its chairman apsara nuclear reactor working and atomic power became function in 1956 In 1969, an atomic power station was set up at Tarapur. A reactor research center was set up at Kolam uh, Kalpakam on used thorium for generating atomic power. Heavy water board set up to carry out research on manufacturing heavy water. an indigenous nuclear reactor that is dhruva was started at strombe in 1985 nuclear power corporation of india limited was set up in 1987 to generate electricity from atomic power now the next question write about the community development program the community development program now answer is the rural development was accorded high priority in the first 5 year plan to accelerate agriculture development 
irrigation and village industry the community development program was launched in 1952 spread of education improvement in public transport and public health were also observed under this program implementation of the community development program was entrusted to three tier panchayat panchayati raj institution that is gram panchayat panchayat samiti and jilla pradeshat in 1962 okay the next uh, question write about rural development in maharashtra so we have to write about the rural development in maharashtra so answer is panchayati raj was established in maharashtra in 1962 it consists of the village panchayat panchayat samiti and jilla parishad panchayati raj institution undertake various activities of rural development rural water supply scheme was started by singh singh when provided five waters and built dams rural electrification cooperative society was established villages industrial planning committee was formed to encourage development of industries or in villages residential school known as vidya niketan for st started in satara aurangabad nasik and chikhaldara agriculture universities univer and universities were established at rauri akola parbhani and dapodi maharashtra received UNESCO that is U N E S C O UNESCO awards of in 1972 for the spread of the literacy so the next question why it is necessary to keep alive the dialect of the indian languages so the answer is the indian language also have dialects these dialect and rich language these are ways to expression of common people they are an important for, part of our heritage but their number is now on the decline therefore it is necessary to keep alive the dialects of the indian language now the next one write the changes that have come about in drama or theater now we have to write about the changes now early plays were very long sometimes running throughout entire night but now their length is shorter the form of techniques of dramas have also changed the plays of music mythology and historical dramas has been taken by the drama on the political and social subjects now people from different strata take play in dramas okay now all that about the history paper or history okay now with the next one with the question number 6 it start with the political science the first question of political science is choose the correct option and rewrite the sentence now you have to rewrite the sentence now the question is like this there are dash naga languages now the option are 8 12 10 or 16 now see the options are there now you have to rewrite the whole sentence that there are 60 naga languages okay the next one the non alignment movement emerged in so you have to write the correct one the non alignment movement emerged in so the correct answer is 1961 so uh, we have clarified the non alignment movement was founded and held its first conference the 
belgrade conference in 1961 under the leadership of joseph bros tito of yugoslavia jamal abdel from egypt jawahar lehru from india kavem miruka of goana and sukarno of indonesia okay now the correct answer is the non alignment movement start emerged in 1961 okay the next one dash was traditionally an autonomous region of india that is tibet nepal bhutan or sikkim now the clarification is china has five autonomous religions that is gunaski inner mongolia dinaxia uh, tibet there is zingzang and zinigang okay now the correct answer tibet was traditionally an autonomous region of china now so you have to write the whole sentence next one dash day is observed on an international level okay which day is observed as in international level now see teachers day children's day earth day or flag day now as we know that teachers day is celebrated in our india after that children day is also celebrated only in india flag day it is also celebrated only in india but earth day is observed as a international day so earth day is an annual event celebrated around the world on april 22nd to demonstrate support for environmental protection was celebrated in 1970 it now includes events coordinated globally by the earth day network in more than 193 countries so answer is earth day is observed on an international level next question there are dash members of the security council so we have to write about how many members of the security council it 10 12 15 or 20 now the explanation is that that there are 15 members of the security council five are the permanent members and 10 are the non permanent members now in this uh, uh, picture you can see that that five are the permanent member that are the us china uk russia and france these are the five permanent member and other 10 are the non permanent member so it the sum of the 10, 5 plus 10 is 15 so 15 members of the are the members of security council now the next the international court of justice is located at in dash so we have to choose the correct option and then rewrite it so options are geneva the ho the new york or the rome so the correct option the international court of justice also known as the world court is the main judicial organ of the united nation it was established in june 1945 by the charter of the united nation and began work in april 1946 the seat of the court is at the peace at the place of hugo it means the correct answer the international court of justice is located at the hug next one sorry the number of member states of united nation in 2017 is 190 193 198 or 199 so the correct option there are currently 193 united nation member states each of the member state of the united nation has one seat in the general assembly formation about current members growth of membership since 1945 the procedure on how a country becomes a member and the membership of the principal united nation organs is provided bill that is it means the answer is the number of member states of united nation in 19 2017 that is 193 members 
okay next one dash has a free international border with india dash has a free international border with india now here the question is free international border pakistan bangladesh myanmar or nepal so in this picture we can see that <coughs> there are international borders but the question is the free international border so india has free international border with nepal and bhutan both of which reciprocate by the allow indian citizens to enter into their sovereign land from 20th march 2020 so the correct option nepal has a free international border with india okay next question dash influence relation between india and pakistan okay what influence relation between india and pakistan difference in the world view kashmir issue nuclear rivalry or all of the above so friends as we know that all these points are true which influence relation, uh, relations between india and pakistan so difference in world view kashmir issue nuclear rivalry have influenced in relation between india and pakistan means all the above reasons are correct now the next one human rights protection act was enacted by the union parliament in 1950 1964 1981 or 1993 so the human right act was 1993 an act to provide for the constitution of a national human rights commission state human rights commission in state and human rights human codes human right codes for better protection of human rights and for matters connected there with the incidental there too the act may be called the protection of human act 1993 so the correct answer is the human rights protection act was enacted by the union parliament in the year 1993 next one the dash conference took place from 5th to 16th june 1972 which conference you have to select stockholm conference rio de janeiro conference kyoto protocol or paris conference now the explanation behind it the united nation conference of the human environment also known as the stockholm conference was an international conference convened under the under united nation auspices held in stockholm sweden in uh, june uh, in june 5 uh, 5th to 16 means the date is 5th to 16th in 1972 so the correct answer is the stockholm conference took place from 5th to 16th june 1972 next one dash is not a permanent member of security council of the united nation so we have to select that country which is not the permanent member of security council america russia germany or china so as we know the permanent member of the united nation security council are the five sovereign states to whom the united Na united nation charter of 1945 grants a permanent seat on the united security council that is china france russia the united kingdom and the united states now in the option germany is there so germany is not the permanent member of security council of the united nation so that's all for this uh, students i think you have understand it that how to solve this question
now with the question number 7 explain with reason whether the following statements are true and false it carries four marks and you have to solve any two okay so the united national general assembly is a platform to discuss global problem this is the true and you have to give reason the reason is all members all the members countries are the members of general assembly they discuss important issue like environment disarmament etc they came together and take policy decisions on the issues of global importance in the session of the general assembly which take place every year from september to december okay the next question is the status of all the mem uh, member nations of the united nation is not equal so as we know this statement is false the reason behind it the status of all member nations is equal in the general assembly the position of all countries whether they are rich or poor big or small is the same every state mem member state has the right to participate in discussion and vote for the resolution of the general assembly the next question a resolution can be passed even if china exercise its veto power so as we know china is one of the permanent member in the security council so it has the veto power and if china is not ready with the with any resolution so it cannot be passed in the security council so the reason is china is a permanent member of the security council with the veto power for any decision to be taken the assent of all five permanent members and the four non permanent members is essential when china exercise veto that is negative veto a decision cannot be taken in the united nation security assembly or general assembly hall okay now india has played a major role in the work of united nation the above statement is true the reason behind it india was the first country to raise the issue in the united nation in 1946 and played a leading role in the formation of the sub committee against a partial set up by the general assembly india was one of the earlier signatory to the con uh, convention of the elimination of all forms of racial discrimination adopted in 1946 next one india has an important position among the south asian countries again the above statement is true so we have to write the reason also the reason is india is geographically a largest country in south asia india has established relation with the neighboring country neighbors on the basis of values like equality and mutual respect india is economically and the most technically developed countries in south asia thus it is natural that the india has a great influence among the south asian countries next question sino indian relationship are friendly now sino means the chinian and india's relations are family friendly that we know that the above statement is false now we have to give reason behind it that there is disagreement about about china and india that is sino india borders there is disagreement on the issues of tibet china had evac evaded india in 1962 the growing friendship between china and pakistan is a third to be secured to the security of india 
that's why the relation between china and india is not very good next one india sent a peacekeeping force to help the sri lankan government so the above statement is true how it is true we have to give reason the difference between the sri lankan government and the tamil population resulted in political instability in sri lanka so india wanted a peaceful resolution of the differences between sri lanka and the tamil so in order to help sri lankan government india sent a peacekeeping force to sri lanka so next question nepal is dependent on india so this statement is very true how it is so because india has provided access to nepal which is a land locked country nepal is dependent on india for economic progress basic facilities food related needs trade and energy needs india had sent a lot of help to nepal at the time of 2015 earthquake next question many nations are willing to give shelter to the refugees so as we know this statement is wrong because no one country is ready to give a shelter to these refugees so answer is rehabilitation of refugees put strain on the economy of the host country storage of necessary commodities may lead to increase the inflation there may be an increase in crime leading to law and order problems therefore many nations are not willing to give shelter to these refugees after that the next question is the concept of human rights has border the above statement is very much true because human rights are in jeopardy due to the precaution by the state and ter terrorism racial segregation and freedom of colonies are large issue related to human freedom the issues like contagious diseases the threat of environment and natural disaster are perceived as thirds to human rights so the concept of human rights has border next question terrorism is both a national as well as an international problem so again the given statement is true so we have to give reason the terrorism of the naxalite and in the northeast india are national programs terrorism has now acquired international dimension and become a global problem a concerned action by all countries in the world against terrorism is advocated thus terrorism is both a national and an international pro problem now the eighth question depends on concept now uh two concepts are there or two given question are there and you have to write any one for two marks now the concept is veto now we have to explain veto the five permanent member of security council have been given negative vote that is veto to take any decision by security council the assess assent of five permanent members and four non permanent members are required okay next topic is unicef so unicef is also known as the united nations international children emergency fund is a united nation agency responsible for providing humanitarian and developmental aid to children worldwide next one is peace keeping force so the united uh, the united nation does this by working to prevent conflict helping parties in conflict make peace peace keeping and creating the additions to allow peace to hold and flourish the united nation security council has the primary responsibility for international peace and security 
that is unesco next one is unesco the united nation education scientific and cultural organization is a specialized agency of the united nation aimed at promoting world peace and security through international cooperation in education the science and the and culture next one international criminal court so international criminal court the international criminal court that is icc was created on 1st july 2002 the icc is different from the international court of justice that is icj the main difference is that icj that is international court of justice settles argument between countries but international criminal court punishes people next one is shimla agreement after the defeat of pakistan and indo pak war in 1971 shimla agreement was signed by prime minister indira gandhi and zulfikar bhutto the prime minister of pakistan in 1972 this agreement proved a new format of a one traction between india and pakistan next concept is macmahon line the border dispute between india and china is related to macmahon line china claims that the area south of uh, askai chin and macmahon line that is in arunachal pradesh is china chinese territory but china is not willing to accept macmahon line as international border educate and china last one is indo nepalese friendly territory so this concept is if this concept is given then the answer is nepal has a free international border with india the foundation of membership between india and nepal was laid by indo nepali uh, friendly uh, uh, treaty in 1950 according to this treaty the nepali citizens cannot only enter india but also permit to take up government jobs and carry on trade in india so in this way you can write different uh concepts uh in the you can write in point format and for two marks you have to write at least four points okay i think you have understand this and uh, i will finish my lecture here ma'am हेलो मैम हेलो हेलो मैम यस मैम यस मैम जस्ट आई हैव फिनिश